And ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our main event of the night. And here he is, Aaron Montano. Aaron Montano. Very entertaining. He's made it... A, <clears throat> he's made, been very vocal. Very, very extremely vocal about... How he has came up short in recent matches. He came up short against Mike Adonis. He's come up short in some other matches in the past. But he says, Now, I'm going to personally make the sure things change. He says lately he's been feeling better than ever and he's looking to become better than he's ever been before. And I want to believe that Aaron Montano can do exactly that. That he can become something here in FLW Red. So he's challenged anybody in the FLW Red locker room to come out here in the main event tonight. What? Hold on a second ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. What? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Zach Thompson! We have not seen Zach Thompson since he lost to Mike Adonis! Zach Thompson's been gone from FLW since then! He's been completely silent! We haven't heard a single word! Not a single word from Zach Thompson since he dropped the title back! To Mike Adonis, and here he is. He's accepted the open challenge from Aaron Montano here tonight. And he's gonna be taking him on one-on-one -on -one here in the main event of FLW. This is a huge return here tonight. Huge, big, massive. And the fans are just as surprised as me. No one expected. Zach Thompson to be the one that accepts the challenge, but well here we are wrestling is very unpredictable as you all know And now here we are with Zach Thompson taking on Aaron Montano And here we go this match is off big lockup between the two this is going to be a very entertaining match. I'm, I'm quite excited for this. Thompson does have a lot to prove here. Oh, big chop. Oh, my God. A strike barrage from Zach Thompson. You know, if Montano can get a win over a former FLW world champion, that's definitely got to mean something. That's got to put him back in contention with Mike Adonis. You know, Montano did have that match with Adonis. So if he beat Adonis... He would get a future world title match. He, of course, lost that match. But you have to think, if he could beat a former world champion, you can only imagine that maybe Montana will get another opportunity with Adonis. Of course, Adonis, he's been on his path of destruction. Recently defeating, on the last show, he defeated Elias DeMarco after Elias tried to cash in his Chase the Case briefcase to get his world title opportunity. <clears throat> and, of course, Elias lost that. Two falls to none. Adonis ran through DeMarco. Showing that Adonis was not playing around. And now we have Zach Thompson. All I'm only going to say is Adonis better keep his eyes open. Because now he's got a lot to deal with. With Zach Thompson back. He already knows Zach Thompson's going to want to go after him again. We might not have heard the end of Zach Thompson versus Mike Adonis. It might have just been the beginning. Which, if that's true, then we got a long way to go. <clears throat> However, Thompson could just totally get derailed here tonight. Oh my god. And Adonis is just... I mean, not Adonis. Montano is just laying in these knees. Do something else. Do something else. Oh my god. Mm. 
There we go. Oh, wait a second. Oh, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Montano got hit. One, two, no! That move has finished many of other people in the past. Oh, puts in that side headlock. Oh, he stands up proud. Oh, look at that. He's laying it out on Montano now. He hit that move out of nowhere, locked it up, and hit it out of nowhere. Oh, watch this. Setting Montano up. Montano knee. Neck breaker. Oh! Pop up by Montano. Zach Thompson. Oh, did you see that? Though he stepped back and was able to dodge that maneuver. Drop kick right to the jaw. <clears throat> and now watch Thompson. Oh! Laying in on the arm there. <clears throat> Thompson was caught off guard. Caught off guard by losing that title. You know, he was one fall to none. And then all of a sudden, after being one fall to none, he gets a small package. Doesn't expect it coming. Doesn't see it coming. Loses the title. Drops off the face of the earth for a while now. And now he's returned here in the main event. <clears throat> against Montano. <clears throat> oh! Thompson moving out of the way. Oh, but still not able to recover in time. Montano's just all over Thompson. Oh, Jesus Christ. Big heel kick. Uh-oh. Oh, and that clothesline turning Montano inside out. And you already know, Zach Thompson... Won't want to finish this by count out. The fans might not like him, but one thing that the fans got to agree with is that Zach Thompson doesn't take any shortcuts when it comes to being in that ring. Zach Thompson shows that he has a lot of skill. He shows that he could play up with all the big boys around FLW. I mean, you can't be a former <clears throat> world champion for no reason. Oh, oh, big punch. Oh, I, I don't think you want to get into a strike battle with Thompson, though. Goes right. Oh, arm wrench. Oh, down behind it. Oh, that elbow to the face. Locks Thompson. Oh, but he drops low, picks him up. Fireman's carry. God buster. Thompson isn't finished. But the oh, a knee. Oh boy, lifts him up with the oh shoulder breaker. That could be it for Montana. One, two, three. That's it. Zach Thompson. Has defeated Aaron Montano here tonight in his FLW Red return. Pretty great match there, ladies and gentlemen, between Montano and Zach Thompson. Zach Thompson, however, I think he's made his point clear that he is back here in FLW. And he's putting everyone on notice. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, that is very dangerous. Thank you guys for watching. FLW Red, tune in next week as we have another great show, as always.